Well, good evening, everybody, and welcome to Evening Prayer. On this Thursday evening, it's Thursday the 9th of July, and you're very welcome if you're joining us for prayer this evening. As always, you can follow along using the Daily Prayer app or by following the link in the post description. Let's take a moment of quiet as we begin our time of prayer together. Heavenly Father, we thank you for this day. We thank you for this time that we have together. We thank you that we can frame our days with you in prayer, joining together online in this way. We ask that you'd guide our prayers this evening and that as we read your word, you would speak to us. In Jesus' name, Amen. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. That this evening may be holy, good and peaceful, let us pray with one heart and mind. As our evening prayer rises before you, O God, so may your mercy come down upon us, to cleanse our hearts and set us free to sing your praise now and forever. Amen. The psalm this evening is Psalm number 94. Psalm 94. The Lord is a God who avenges. O God who avenges, shine forth. Rise up, judge of the earth. Pay back to the proud what they deserve. How long, Lord, will the wicked, how long will the wicked be jubilant? They pour out arrogant words. All the evildoers are full of boasting. They crush your people, Lord. They oppress your inheritance. They slay the widow and the foreigner. They murder the fatherless. They say the Lord does not see. The God of Jacob takes no notice. Take notice, you senseless ones among the people. You fools. When will you become wise? Does he who fashioned the ear not hear? Does he who formed the eye not see? Does he who disciplines nations not punish? Does he who teaches mankind lack knowledge? The Lord knows all human plans. He knows that they are futile. Blessed is the one you discipline, Lord, the one you teach from your law. You grant them relief from days of trouble, till a pit is dug for the wicked. For the Lord will not reject his people. He will never forsake his inheritance. Judgment will again be founded on righteousness, and all the upright in heart will follow it. Who will rise up for me against the wicked? Who will take a stand for me against evildoers? Unless the Lord had given me help, I would soon have dwelt in the silence of death. When I said my foot is slipping, your unfailing love, Lord, supported me. When anxiety was great within me, your consolation brought me joy. Can a corrupt throne be allied with you, a throne that brings on misery by its decrees, the wicked band together against the righteous, and condemn the innocent to death? But the Lord has become my fortress, and my God the rock in whom I take refuge. He will repay them for their sins, and destroy them for their wickedness. The Lord our God will destroy them. <coughs> Lord God, judge of all, before whom no secrets are hidden, <coughs> let your justice shine out, and your righteousness sweep wickedness from its throne that we may live free from fear and stumbling through Jesus Christ our Lord. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. The Old Testament reading this morning continues in the book of Job. 
and we are up to Job chapter 40 and God continues to speak to Job. Job chapter 40. The Lord said to Job, Will the one who contends with the Almighty correct him? Let him who accuses God answer him. Then Job answered the Lord, I am unworthy. How can I reply to you? I put my hand over my mouth. I spoke once, but I have no answer. Twice, but I will say no more. Then the Lord spoke to Job out of the storm. Brace yourself like a man. I will question you, and you shall answer me. Would you discredit my justice? Would you condemn me to justify yourself? Do you have an arm like God's? And can your voice thunder like his? Then adorn yourself with glory and splendour, and clothe yourself in honour and majesty. Unleash the fury of your wrath. Look at all who are proud and bring them low. Look at all who are proud and humble them. Crush the wicked where they stand. Bury them all in the dust together. Shroud their faces in the grave. Then I myself will admit to you that your own right hand can save you. Look at Behemoth, which I made along with you, and which feeds on grass like an ox. What strength it has in its loins, what power in the muscles of its belly. Its tail sways like a cedar, the sinews of its thighs are close-knit, its bones are tubes of bronze, its limbs like rods of iron. It ranks first among the works of God, yet its maker can approach it with his sword. The hills bring it their produce, and all the wild animals play nearby. Under the lotus, under the lotuses, sorry, under the lotus plant it lies, hidden among the reeds in the marsh. The lotuses conceal it in their shadow. The poplars by the stream surround it. A raging river does not alarm it. It is secure, though the Jordan should surge against its mouth. Can anyone capture it by the eyes, or trap it and pierce its nose? And the New Testament reading is from Paul's letter to the Romans, chapter 15, verses 22 to the end. Romans 15, 22 to the end. This is why I have often been hindered from coming to you. But now that there is no more place for me to work in these regions, and since I have been longing for many years to visit you, I plan to do so when I go to Spain. I hope to see you while passing through, and that you will assist me on my journey there, after I have enjoyed your company for a while. Now, however, I am on my way to Jerusalem in the service of the Lord's people there. For Macedonia and Achaia were pleased to make a contribution for the poor among the Lord's people in Jerusalem. They were pleased to do it, and indeed they owe it to them. For if the Gentiles have shared in the Jews' spiritual blessings, they owe it to the Jews to share with them their material blessings. So after I have completed this task and have made sure that they have received this contribution, I will go to Spain and visit you on the way. I know that when I come to you, I will come in the full measure of the blessing of Christ. I urge you, brothers and sisters, by our Lord Jesus Christ and by the love of the Spirit to join me in my struggle by praying to God for me. Pray that I may be kept safe from the unbelievers in Judea and that the contribution I take to Jerusalem may be favourably received by the Lord's people there, so that I may come to you with joy by God's will and in your company be refreshed. The God of peace be with you all. Amen. Fear not, for I have redeemed you. I have called you by name, you are mine. Fear not, for I have redeemed you. I have called you by name, you are mine. When you pass through the waters, I will be with you. When you walk through fire, you shall not be burned. 
I have called you by name, you are mine. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Fear not, for I have redeemed you. I have called you by name, you are mine. The Magnificat, the Song of Mary. You have filled the hungry with good things, and sent the rich away empty. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God my Saviour. He has looked with favour on his lowly servant. From this day all generations will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. He has mercy on those who fear him from generation to generation. He has shown strength with his arm, and has scattered the proud in their conceit casting down the mighty from their thrones and lifting up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things and sent the rich away empty. He has come to the aid of his servant Israel to remember his promise of mercy, the promise made to our ancestors, to Abraham and his children forever. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be for ever. Amen. You have filled the hungry with good things, and sent the rich away empty. So we come to our prayers of intercession. Let us pray. Loving God, we thank you for this day and for all that all the good that has happened today. We thank you for your blessings. May we always count uh, our blessings and be grateful for what we have been given. Lord, we ask for your peace in our minds. Where minds are troubled and anxious, give your peace, we pray, Lord Jesus. Peace in our hearts, that we could know your presence with us that we could put our trust fully in you. And as we trust in you, we could feel ourselves uh, lifted out of anxiety. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Father, as we take further steps out of this lockdown, we do pray that you would guide all in authority, in government, nationally and locally, in our council here in Coventry, for those in organisations locally, for decision makers everywhere, and guide us in the right steps to take. We pray for local businesses and uh, places of work, as people return, we ask for your protection. We ask for your protection on jobs. We know that lots of jobs are being lost. But we pray, Lord, that you would support locally uh, employment. Lord, where there are um, grants being made by government, we pray that they would find their way to the, the right places. And we ask that you would support our local economy. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Father, we pray for all who provide local services. Services for the elderly. Services for uh, the poor. Services for children. Services for those who live on the streets and have no fixed abode. Services for those who rely on food banks. And we ask, Lord, for your provision. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Father, we continue to pray for our local care homes and all who live and work in them. And I want to pray especially at this time for members of our church whose relatives are have either just moved into a care home or are about to move into a care home. And we pray for an awareness of your presence at this difficult time. Lord, in your mercy, 
hear our prayer. Father, we pray for schools locally as we um, draw near to the end of term and as plans are drawn up for the uh, autumn term. Please guide all in authority, guide heads and governing bodies and teachers and teaching assistants. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Father, we continue to pray for key workers everywhere, for those that particularly in our National Health Service, and those who spend their lives sacrificing their own comfort to care for others. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Father, we pray for all who are sick in any way, and we ask for healing in the name of Jesus. We pray especially for those known to us, members of our families and friends, and for those on our sick list at church. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And Father, we pray for those who are currently bereaved, mourning the loss of their loved ones. And we ask that you would bring your comfort. We pray for funerals being arranged and that through funeral services conducted by the church, the good news of Jesus Christ would be spoken of and hope given. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We collect the special prayer for today. O God, the protector of all who trust in you, without whom nothing is strong, nothing is holy, Increase and multiply upon us your mercy, that with you as our ruler and guide, we may so pass through things temporal, that we lose not our hold on things eternal. Grant this, Heavenly Father, for our Lord Jesus Christ's sake, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and for ever. Amen. Please join with me in the Lord's Prayer. As our Saviour taught us, so we pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours now and forever. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all evermore. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Well, thank you everybody for joining us tonight for prayer whether you're watching live or on a recording later on. Uh, morning prayer will be at the usual time tomorrow of 8.15. Hope to see you then. Have a good evening. Take care. God bless.